receiving payment on sales orders. In all orders, to force the user to enter payment on a sales order is set by the terms. Terms are located in the menu list and profile list. By default, all the term types are set to accounts receivable. Changing the term type will notify the system that you want to be able to take payment in all orders. The following are the different types of terms you can set up. Accounts receivable. No payment will be taken in all orders. All payment will be received in QuickBooks after the order has been shipped and been invoiced. Full payment on order. Orders cannot be filled nor can linked transactions be created until full payment has been taken. Full payment on shipping. Orders can be filled and quantities allocated but cannot be shipped until full payment is taken. Partial payment on order. Full payment on shipping. A payment must be taken on the order for part of the total amount before it can be filled or creating linked transactions. Payment must be made in full before the items can be shipped. Manual payment entry. There are no rules for how much of the order has to be paid for, but the ability to collect payments will be enabled for orders with this term. Next, in the menu list, profile list, and payment methods, all orders will use the payment methods to determine if the payment is cash or check, or credit card. To add a new payment, choose Save and New from the tab Save Tool. Select the payment type for each entry. Also select the accounts receivable and deposit general ledger accounts. Open the customer from the customer list. Then select your terms and payment methods. Also, when logged in as the admin, go to the menu Company and Manage Users, while well, all orders will provide an internal control to prevent a particular user from overriding a customer's terms. To accomplish this, uncheck This User Can Edit the Default Customer Values on Sales Transactions. Now, when you create a sales order and the terms are entered, you will notice a payment icon on the bottom right of the screen. Click the icon to enter the customer's payment information. The default payment amount is the entire order amount, so you will need to edit that value. If a credit card payment method is selected, you will be able to fill in the relevant credit card information. If you have set up credit card processing, you will be able to process the credit card as well. See the article on Processing Credit Cards located in the Help menu, Contents tab, Using All Orders, Sales Cycle, and Processing Credit Cards. You can also select whether you want to push the payment to QuickBooks when you save the sales order. After completing the payment information, click Save to return back to the sales order and save again to commit the transaction to the database. In QuickBooks, the customer's accounts receivable balance will become negative. Although this may seem counterintuitive, from an accounting point of view, it is correct. The negative AR balance represents a liability until such time as the order is filled. If you send payments to QuickBooks at the sales order level, it is suggested that you uncheck the automatically apply payment preference so that the payment can be applied to the correct invoice within QuickBooks. Back in all orders, you now have the option to undo the payment in QuickBooks. You will notice the balance reflects what the customer owes upon shipment. When you fill the sales order as usual, you will be presented with a ship dock which also has the payment icon. Click the icon and enter the balance. Click Invoice to record both the invoice and the payment within QuickBooks.